The German Sixth Army is surrounded at Stalingrad. An airlift is organized to supply Von Paulus' troops. However, the Soviets will soon launch a counteroffensive to prevent German attempts at a breakout from the city. In response to Operation Wintergewitter, the German attempts to save the 250,000 troops of the 6th Army in Stalingrad, the Soviets launch a counteroffensive codenamed Operation Little Saturn on the 16th of December. Soviet forces smash through the Italian and Romanian troops south of the Don River to the northwest of Stalingrad. A corridor is thus opened into the rear of the German lines, through which the 24th and 25th tank corps are selected to make deep penetration raids on German logistic targets. The 24th Tank Corps, under the command of Major General Vasily Bardanov, is tasked to travel 200 kilometers and attack the important German airfield at Tatsinskaya, where some 300 JF-52s fly supply missions to Stalingrad daily. Bardanov leads over 500 tanks, trucks, artillery and katyushas through the Russian landscape. When Budanov must rest his troops during the night, the tanks are left running to avoid difficulties starting in the cold. On the 19th, the 5 km long column is bombed and some vehicles are destroyed. Freezing conditions and long distances also lead to many breakdowns and tired crews. By the 23rd, 24th Tank Corps takes Gorsiskaya after suffering some losses and becoming separated from the supply trucks. Budanov decides to push on to Tatsinskaya with his depleted forces to maintain surprise and momentum. At 07.30 hours on the 24th, the attack begins as eight Katyushas fire on the town. Meanwhile, the Germans are warned of the impending assault and begin to evacuate the airfield. Roughly 180 planes are on the airfield on this day, and about 100 of them are prepared to take off. Through the snow at 0800 hours, about 10 T-34s and 10 T-70s of the 130th Tank Brigade approach the airfield and train station. The station, full of aviation fuel, is quickly set ablaze. Black units briefly engaged the Soviet tanks.
By 0830 hours, the tank crews reached the edge of the airfield, causing a panic among the Luftwaffe personnel as the Soviets systematically destroyed planes on the flight line. The train station is found to be full of aircraft parts and components, which are promptly destroyed. One of the final planes to take off under fire carries the commander of the airfield, Lieutenant General Martin Fiebig. Despite being warned of the incoming attack, his indecisiveness in establishing adequate defences and evacuating early contributes to the Luftwaffe losses. As more tanks stream into the airfield, carnage reigns. Some of the crews who run out of ammunition are seen to ram the tails of the transports. German pilots Kurt Schreeth reports, airplanes leave and start on the runway from all sides. Already in the air, a Heinkel collides with the Junkers and scatters into small fragments together with their passengers. Some tanks of the 54th Tank Brigade also reach the airfield in the latter stages of the battle, 